Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out who will you marry in the future. Today is the 28th of August, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is 8.16 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And if this video finds you, this message is for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Okay, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Who will they marry in the future? extra i'll take it the moon at the bottom of the deck okay so bear in mind that if you haven't met this person yet it's not going to resonate with you okay some of you maybe you've already met this person but let's see emperor in my first page of wands two of wands in my first this is somebody who i feel could be a fire sign aries sagittarius lee okay this is somebody who is not old-fashioned who is not stubborn who is open to explore new things very adventurous definitely likes to travel um or this person may have a father figure um whom could be a little bit old-fashioned <laughs> hope that makes sense okay five of cups here is in my first queen of swords in my first. and we've got three of pentacles three of pentacles has come out a lot in today's reading um, for all signs actually so the three of pentacles to me is a marriage card it's a wedding card because this is in a church right so i feel like yeah you're gonna marry this person you're gonna be marrying this person but it feels like with the eight of cups both of you most likely are gonna get married um in a different place in a different country uh, it doesn't feel like it's it doesn't oh it, there could be some sort of migration or that maybe this person is a foreigner okay or you could be a foreigner um and we've got the devil here and one first two swords and west ten pentacles and west okay so you're actually i'm hearing like vegas i'm hearing um definitely a non-conventional type of marriage or wedding okay it's almost like both of you are going to do something very different it's not going to be a wedding or a marriage where it's like those typical, even though this says this is a church, but the surrounding cards are telling me that it's not going to be at home, Ten of Pentacles in one verse, or if it's not that, it's just that it's going to be very different. Your wedding style is going to be very creative, or it could be in a, in a different country. Um, and the devil here is in one verse. This is what I feel like for some of you you might just elope okay <laughs> this is for some of you. you might just elope and go to vegas or go to you know and have this really small little intimate wedding uh, i don't see it as like a huge wedding where everybody is invited your cousins your neighbors not like that it feels like it's gonna be very small very intimate for some of you it's just the two of you just going off to somewhere vegas or just sign the paper and call it a day <laughs> i'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear but i don't really see that because look at the moon so both some of you might just eat keep this like a secret or just don't really announce to the whole world that both of you are getting married maybe because of some sort of approval thing because the emperor here is in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse can indicate that maybe some people are going to disapprove this connection or this marriage. Either because it's too quick or, I mean, like it's happening too quickly. Or that both of you are choosing to do something very differently. Yeah. I'm hearing elope. <laughs> some of you, like at least 30% of you might just elope, okay? And then the star here is in my first, King of Cups in my first. 
yeah, you're gonna do things very differently with this person. It just doesn't feel like it's conventional at all. And the moon is like very mysterious energy, but also very secretive energy. So I feel like some of you may have a secret wedding or just eloping, okay? But on the other hand, the moon also can indicate maybe this is somebody who is a deep thinker. Can be quite emotional, but I would say this is somebody very creative, quite out there, okay? A little bit out there. Um, I don't know if you're going to agree to this. This person, the person you're going to be marrying, may, exp may like uh, to go to certain festivals. Um, I'm hearing psychedelic. I don't know where that came from. Something, and these are not the things that I would do, but <laughs> I'm hearing it. Psychedelic stuff, uh, festivals, someone who is like, free very free likes to go camping likes to explore again new places um and then i feel like this is someone who is going to introduce you to all of these things or both of you come together three of pentacles it also feels like they're going to teach you something okay teach you something in regards to their lifestyle and what they believe Ten of Swords and is the Storm of Verse. See, this may not be someone that you typically would go after, but you're going to find them very mysterious and very interesting. So this is someone you're going to be marrying. And it feels like even if this is not your style, that I will never elope or I will never... Even if this is not your style, you this person just might convince you that, that hey, I don't know. It's because Three of Pentacles, it's like, Someone is going to teach someone something um, and change this person's mind, okay? And who knows, it could go vice versa. Let's pull out some of these romance angels. You know, the devil in my verse makes me feel like this is someone who doesn't like negativities, right? Always open, always open to explore. To go to places to learn new things. Let's pull out some of these romance angels. Let's see. Engagement. Yeah. So this is someone you're going to be engaged to. Mary, obviously, heart to heart conversations. So, this actually makes me feel that. Uh, one second, please. Yes? Oh, maybe it's not me. It's... One second, please. Yes? Yes? Yeah? Who is that? So sorry, um, I think I'm just not opening the door unless, but the problem is they don't really speak English here. Like most Vietnamese don't really speak much English. So he didn't, he couldn't explain to me what he wanted. I didn't, I just didn't want to open the door <laughs> just in case. But anyway, um, let's continue. Engagement looks like you're gonna engage, be engaged to this person in heart to heart conversations. Um, yeah, so f it feels like this person is gonna influence you, okay? The moon indicates, or oh, you're gonna influence this person. This is your soulmate. Make the effort. This could be the one. This is the one that you're gonna be marrying. So, Three of Pentacles also can indicate that both of you will have to learn about each other, make the effort 
to work together well as a team. Anyway, I gotta go, what a sign, so sorry I need to cut this shot short and so sorry there was an interruption. Um, hope you resonated in some way, shape or form. If you did, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I have two new extra services that I'm offering. It's in the description box below. The first, first, um, knocking on my door again. This is the first, what do you call, the first link in the description box below. Anyway, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Hope to see you back here again later. Bye.